Good morning, children. I'm here to teach you second language English for fourth standard. We are going to begin with third chapter. But before I can go to my third chapter, I want you to recollect chapter two. Now in chapter two, we learned about the house of mirrors. Then we learned about sentence, phrase and word. And then we also learned to make sentences using pictures and make a story. Okay, you remember the story of the dow and the ant? You wrote the story. Okay, it was good. Now I'm moving on to the lesson called environment. What do we mean by the word environment? Environment means all that we see around us. I'm going to show you some pictures. Watch it. Now these are some pictures of your environment. you see around us trees people animals birds insects mountains houses water clouds whatever you see around us is called as environment now under environment we are going to learn a poem which is on page number 33 Page number 33. The name of the poem is If a Tree Could Talk. It's written by Anonymous. What does the word anonymous mean? Anonymous means we do not know who wrote it. But it's a nice poem with a lot of meaning. So it is given in your text. What do you mean by the, by this heading, if a tree could talk? Now listen children, if I want to say something, I can always talk to you, tell you I want this or I am feeling like this, I want a cup of coffee or I am feeling tired or I want to go to school. What, what am I doing? I am talking. I am expressing myself. I am saying it loudly. I am opening my mouth and talking. Right. When I talk, you are able to understand what I am saying. Now in this poem, it talks about the environment. And what it is talking about, it says, things around. 
around us. It is our responsibility to take care of it and protect it. But what are we doing? Let's see in this poem. What if these people begin to speak? When we can speak and express, suppose, imagine. Now sometimes in your, your grandmother, grandfather would have told you some story like, you know, once upon a time there was a lion and that was the king of the jungle and the lion came on the mountain, went right on top of the mountain and he said, I am the king of the jungle. You know how you picture that? Right? Imagine if these people like the birds or the animals or the mountain or the tree or the rain or uh, air, if they could speak, what will they say? Let's see. Okay? So it says, if a tree could, page number 33, I'm going to read the poem, read the lesson to you. First, I mean read the poem. If a tree could talk, written by Anonymous, if a tree could talk, what would it say? Don't chop me down, just walk away. Now what does it say? It's talking about if. If the tree could just talk, what will it say? It will say, don't chop me down. It is not right. Please go away. Okay? Let's see the next one. If a river could talk, what would it say? If, if the river waters can speak, what will it say? If can speak, what will it say? It will say, don't dump in trash, throw it away. Don't dump in waste in the water, throw it away. Next one, if the air could talk, what would it say? If the air, if the breeze, if the wind can talk, what it may say? It would say, The factories must learn to keep smoke away. It would say, Factories must learn to keep the smoke away. Okay, then, if the animals could talk, if the animals could talk, what would they say? They would say, help us to live, we wish to stay. If the earth could talk, what would it say? Protect me by making every day Earth Day. Now, I will explain the po this poem to you. If we could imagine, if the tree could talk. Now, you know the population, people are growing, many people are there. And they need to build houses. And so they are chopping trees for furniture, for houses, for buildings, for many other things. Trees are being chopped. Now we must remember children, what does a tree give us? A tree gives us food, all types of food. And then the tree gives us shelter. And tree gives us oxygen to breathe. 
Now without trees, we will not get oxygen to breathe. More than anything, whatever we give out, carbon dioxide, the, the air that is not good for us, the trees will use that air to produce food for it. So, and if there are trees, our earth is being protected and we would get rain. Without that, if we go on cutting down trees, what will happen? Yet, we are not able to understand the consequence of it. That's why it says, if at all a tree could talk, it would say, please don't chop me. Okay, then. If the river could talk, now we get a water from this. Imagine a day without water. If there's no water for one or two days, do you think we can be normal? We can do our work normally? No, we can't do anything. But what do we do? Suppose we go and go for a picnic and we go by a riverside. What do we do? We take chips and food and tiffin and whatever it is and we put it in the water itself. We don't care. We have bath there. We use cosmos. We do soaps there. We do everything. We pollute even that water. So if a river could talk, what will it say? Say, please don't dump trash. Don't dump your waste into the water. I'm getting dirty. Don't do it. Okay. I. You need me. But we people yet are not able to understand that. And then, if the air could talk, what would it say? The factories must learn to keep smoke away. If only factory, if the air can talk, if the wind can talk, what will it say? It would say, you are polluting the air and that very air we are breathing. We need the air to breathe. And if the factories gives out smoke, if the vehicles give out a lot of smoke, if there is a lot of smoke when we light fire or in factories or whatever, small scale, whatever it is, it gets into the air and the air gets polluted. It gets dirty. And the very dirty air we'll have to breathe in. And then what happens to us? Let's see what happens later on. Suppose, now, our next stanza says, if the animals could talk, what would they say? You know, if these animals could talk around, what will they say? We are just killing them to make bags, to eat food. Some of them use it as food. And we just don't bother about it. We just want our food. We, now, we want the best of bags, best of jackets, best of leather things. What will the animals say? We need the animals. They are, they are one of the things that they are the beauty of the world. And animals are also very necessary for the environment. And then they would say, help us to live, we wish to stay. So finally, if the earth, the entire world, the earth could talk, what will it say? It would say, let me go. Make the earth day every day. Okay? Let that earth day celebration be every day. We celebrate earth day. Let it be celebrated every day. So that we will know how important it is. Okay, children? Now, I'm going to sing this song for you and give you a little more explanation once I've done with the song. Okay, children. So, earth is something that has the capacity to save the world. And that is why we celebrate Earth Day on 22nd April of every year. So, now the earth is saying, don't celebrate it on that one particular day, but celebrate Earth Day on every day, let it be an Earth Day. Grow a plant every, every year, at least one person. 
one child grow one plant each year. Okay, a earth will be full of greenery. Right, children? Now, let me sing the song for you. <clears throat> if a tree could talk, what would it say? Don't talk me down, just walk away. If a river could talk, what would it say? Don't dump in thrush, throw it away. If the air could talk, what would it say? The factories must learn to keep smoke away. If the animals could talk, what would they say? Help us to live, we wish to stay. If the earth could talk, what would it say? Protect me by making every day Earth Day. Protect me by making every day Earth Day. So now children, you must read, learn to recite this poem very well. And then we will move on to page number 34, which talks about page number 34, which talks about new words. Chop means cut down, dump, fill in any vacant place with dirt or waste, protect means save, thrash. Something that is useless or waste. Now here it says, read the poem, say what you would do to save the environment. Use the words given in the brackets, one is done for you. Now these are the bracket words, burst, kill, drive, dump in. Now you have to use these words. I would grow more trees, but I wouldn't chop them down. Which means that you will grow trees, but you won't chop them down. Okay, that's the answer given for you already. Now the second one you have to do. I would save the river, but I wouldn't dash thrash. I wouldn't dump in thrash that in the river you won't throw the waste next one I would ride a bicycle but I wouldn't dash a car okay means you're small you will ride a bicycle but not drive a car because you're a small child okay the next one I would rear animals, but I wouldn't dash them. I would, um, I would keep animals in my house, like dog or cat, cow, if your parents are love you. And then I would not kill them. I would light oil lamps, but I wouldn't burst crackers. Now, off late from a few years we are all making a pledge every year saying that we will not burst crackers because crackers causes a lot of smoke that pollute the air so little children should promise this i would light oil lamps but wouldn't burst crackers let's move on to page number 35 read the pictures and say about the weather now these are the weathers environment makes a lot saving the environment causes the protection of weather for a proper weather we need a proper environment so let's see sunny rainy cloudy windy give clues for the second blank also <coughs> now here is the picture you have to see the picture and take out your answer from there. It is a sunny day. It is very 
hot next one it is a rainy day it is very it is rainy it is a cloudy day it is very cloudy it is a windy day it is very windy okay now you have to fill in this whole thing and move on to page number page number 36 listen and say aloud teacher says these words listen then say the words aloud which means i am going to read it after me reading you can read it along children brick brick bridge bridge brush brush bread bread rackets rackets pickle pickle drawer drawers stamp drawer sorry stamp stamp stretcher stretcher okay now they are only to repeat the words complete the given words by adding two letters n g c e k e t e c k c h and say them aloud you may use letters more than once d a n c e dance c e d a n c e dance s l a t e slate p r i c e prize S T I C K stick C K is a S T I S T R I S T R I C C S S T R I K E strike C R A C K crack S T R O K E stroke B R A N C H branch. Now, children, what I want you to do is, please answer page number thirty-four, page number thirty-five, and page number thirty-six, and send it to me on the. assignment group at the same time i also want you to sing the song if a tree could talk what would it say sing the whole thing and send it to me on the voice recording now most of your most of the children are not doing this the next time if you don't do it i'll make you to do i'll call out your name and i'll ask you to do it okay so without fail sing the song and send it to me on the voice recording and then answer the assignments page number 34 35 and 36 once you are done with your pages children send it to me on the assignment group the continuation of this lesson is in the exercise 2 i will continue it in my next class until then see you children bye bye